Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors have suspended its planned nationwide protests earlier scheduled to commence this Wednesday. President of the association, Oji Emeka Innocent, said the National Executive Council of the association arrived at the decision after its virtual meeting Tuesday night. He said the association would review the decision after 72 hours. NARD is currently on a nationwide indefinite strike and had earlier announced that it would commence daily nationwide protests and picketing of federal health institutions from Wednesday, 9th August at 10 a.m. Now, Dr. Nnamdi Ndezuma is the first vice president NARD and he speaks on the association's decision to suspend the planned strike and the out of their meeting with the leadership of the Senate. Take a look. We met with the leadership of the Senate headed by His Excellency, the Excellency uh, the, um, Senator Godswill Pabio, um, with, the, with other members of distinguished senators of the Senate and we discussed in detail most of our demand. But as I said, there were some low-hanging fruits, which the senators on their own decided, I mean, were surprised that these issues had, issues had not been resolved. And they took it upon themselves and requested that we give them about 24 to 48 hours to resolve these issues. And that was why I said we now reconvened our next meeting, where we now suggested that if members... Uh, at, at the next meeting, the next members now suggested that if we are able to, if we are able to see the number three citizen, and um, they have decided to ask for, um, you know, for us to give them that concession, that we would extend the protest for 72 hours, and to see what actions will be put in place before that time, and if the actions are palpable and reasonable, then the NEC will reconvene and take a decision. We have uh, about eight demands, but um, as I said, there were some that we felt needed immediate attention, and we had those that were very important. Now, number one on that list is the release of the secular for one for one replacement, where we want to where we tend to replace health clinical staff that have left the system, either exited the system, so that the workload would not take its toll on members. Number two is the release of the budgeted 2020 three medical residency training fund, which was supposed to have been released in the first quarter, but we're currently in August and still nothing has been done. We also talked about um, the salary areas owed by to some members and then skipping areas. So there were some issues that had immediate, that could be given immediate uh, attention, like the one release of the circular for one for one, and then the payment of the medical residency training fund. So these were the issues that we have given the Senate some time to look into and see if actions can be taken with this so that um, members can reconvene and take a decision.